I didn't know what was happening to me. I thought I was going to die. He kept saying to us, I have no idea what this is. We have, I think, a horrible epidemic. This is the next tsunami. I used to do ballet. She just went downhill very fast. I went from being a gifted athlete to there's times when I, it's hard to put a shirt on. It just doesn't seem possible that this poppy seed size thing is going to make you bedridden, possibly for the rest of your life. There's Lyme disease everywhere. It's more prevalent than AIDS. How many more people are going to suffer before the truth comes out? As citizens, we ought to be astonished and alarmed. The major medical journals have published that chronic Lyme disease is not real and it's a psychosomatic condition. I kept getting poo-pooed by the doctors. We don't think there's anything wrong with you. There is nothing wrong. There's no medicine for someone like you. They don't have any evidence of ever having had Lyme disease once. She shouldn't have had to die. We know about Lyme disease. It's something that we have a good handle on. Well, that's nonsense. Such a waste. Insurance companies trying to get rid of doctors who cost them a lot of money. What he'll do will be to cite that there's no such thing as chronic Lyme disease. They don't want to pay. It is difficult for doctors who want to stand up and help these patients. Dr. Jim Sex license is suspended. There's a message that's going to be sent to the other doctors that it's not safe to take a Lyme patient on and treat them. I had to fight for what I got. I'm glad to be here. By the time you're so disabled, you're in a panic state. How do you know how to fix it? How do you know what to do?